You are not going to believe the super, super um, accurate and, uh, and, and I think that for the first time in perspective, the history of the Nazis and uh, and America and how it all how it all came down. Finally, somebody has uh, <laughs> really educated Americans yeah. on what happened. Finally, in somebody's the big one. got perspective Back on the big one. World War II mm-hmm. and leave it to Tony Bennett to give you this uh, this super super perspective here. Um, in audio that <laughs> in audio that I don't think we could pay for. I don't no. think we could have some of the best writers write this and get Tony Bennett to say it. It's just spilled out of his head. He's talking here a little bit about how uh, how America, you know, has guns and the guns have got to go because there's just too much violence. And, of course, when you're talking about gun control, now, I know this is true with many of the many who understand the Second Amendment. You know, you talk about gun control and it takes you a while, but you will get to Hitler. And when you're talking about gun control and Stalin it didn't take Tony Bennett very long to get to Hitler and the Nazi, uh, the Nazis, 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 Nazis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it didn't take him long to get to the Nazis and not the <laughs> typical <laughs> Not the typical um, case to make when you're talking about gun control. Here's Tony Bennett on the history of the Nazis. It's the kind of turn that happened to the great country of Germany mm. where Nazis came over and hmm? created tragic things. Hang on just Thank a you, Hang on. <laughs> Tony. Think tank thinker, Tony Bennett. <laughs> when the Nazis came over, rem- who could forget when the Nazis came over and created tragic things? <laughs> Wait, tragic things? Tragic things. <laughs> Many people died. But some good things happened, too. No, I don't. The Autobahn. No, I don't think. No, Volkswagen. No, I don't think. Tony, Medical I don't think. breakthroughs. No, Tony. No. No, I don't think that's Tony, I don't really. think that's accurate. I mean, wait a minute. Hang on just a second. Play that from the beginning. I didn't right. know that the Nazi the what, how does he say the Nazis the, the Nazis, Nazis came over. Yeah, yeah. where did they where come, did they they come from? I, they came over. I thought they were Germans. Everybody knows this, Glenn. The okay. Nazis came over and tr- created and just created tragic some tragic things. things. Yeah. Some tragic things. Yes, like. They broke a lamp. I mean, <laughs> no. what is it? That's a tragic thing. They broke some heirlooms. Oh, that that's tragic. That's in too German bad. homes. I mean, what? Is, they created some tragic things. It's the kind of turn that happened to the great country of Germany, uh, mm-hmm. where Nazis came over yep. mm-hmm. and created tragic things, mm-hmm. 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 and they had to be told off. Yeah, they had to be told off. (laughs) Remember when people said, you dirty Nazis, leave us alone. (laughs) Go away now, you nasty Nazis. You're creating tragic things. (laughs) We don't need any more tragic things happening in this country. Create some good things again, like Like the the Autobahn. Autobahn. (laughs) 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 That is just bizarre. Oh, but wait. There's, There's more. And if we continue <laughs> this kind of violence and accept it in our country, mm-hmm. the rest of the world is going to really take care of us mm-hmm. in a very bad way. Wow. We should learn mm-hmm. that we're mm-hmm. the greatest country mm-hmm. because we're all different nationalities and all different religions. That's why mm-hmm. we're the greatest. because, And we should show the rest of the world mm-hmm. how to behave. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. Wow. That again is think tank thinker, <laughs> Tony Bennett. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so wait. The rest of the world, if we don't... I'm trying to get the, the, the Nazi... Uh, the tie-in. The tie-in there. here. I think because those who understand the Second Amendment, we're going to create some tragic things? Is that, or are they not... Or the, or the Nazis coming over to us to create? I don't. I'm not sure. Uh, if we have uh, guns, will the Nazis come over here to create tragic things, or will we become Nazis to create tragic things? I think that what he's saying here is that uh, those who believe in the Second Amendment are the Nazis of today. 
Okay. All right. The Nazis and so of we'll today create are, tragic things. are already creating the tragic things. Okay. We are responsible okay, for about, all the murders. So if we keep doing those tragic things as gun-toting Nazis, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, then the rest of the world will then what come over and the, yes, they they'll come over and they'll, and they'll, they'll put a stop us to it in terrible ways. In well, terrible ways. One thing that they will do because they're sure. pissed that we're hurting ourselves. Is that what? Yeah, they're yes. pissed. very pissed. They're pissed. That they're hurting, we're hurting you ourselves. You Americans, stop hurting other. Well, Americans. we're creating not, we're creating terrible things, and we mm-hmm. already have freeways so we're not right. going to get the autobahn <laughs> no. right well we, we could get we could increase speed limits i mean that is something well, that we true. could do we could take could do okay all yeah. right but that's not a big deal i mean if we just take the signs down right that's true it's not <laughs> a significant that's kind of like a lazy nazi uh yeah no i i think uh i don't what, want to what, build the highway but i'll i guess we can go out and take the signs down. <laughs> what will happen if we continue on the path that we're on is that mm-hmm. we will eventually be told off Oh no! Really? Yeah, they will <sighs> we'll come. Be told oh, off. They, yeah, the the other countries will come and they will tell us off. As Aren't if they we're already the doing that? They do tend to do it. I think they're already doing that. Fact, I'm not really he sure. Seems to be doing it right now. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> is he part of the rest of the world? And I think what's really nice is the fact that he um, points out that what makes America great is that we're all different religions and from different countries. <laughs> yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's it. He put that's his it. finger that right the, on it. Can a I lot tell of times something? we skirt around the issue with right. freedom and liberty and the Constitution <laughs> and all that. You know, no. just entrepreneurs and from you know, many invention. One, you know, coming yeah. together in unity. A lot of people no. don't realize because, no. you know, when you go over to Switzerland, mm-hmm. there are only Swiss people there. I know, it sucks. They've all been... It's awful. They've been... They've been, they've been, they've been Switzerland, Switzerland for a very yeah. long time. Yeah, they have. Same thing with the French. They do, people don't move in to France. England, mm-hmm. same thing. Germany, God forbid. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. nobody but mm-hmm. Switzerland people in Switzerland. Mm-hmm. Switzerlandis. Uh, mm-hmm. Switzerlandis. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I wasn't sure mm-hmm. of the term. Mm-hmm. I was going to go. I was going to go for the Swiss, but I thought no, it that can't be right. Switzerlandis. Switzerlandis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there's only Switzerlandis and. <laughs> Australianites um, mm-hmm. in Australia. Right. Yeah. And here they can all come and we can mingle and we can talk. And we're like, what religion are you? And they're like, I'm Presbyterian. What are you? I'm Lutheran. Mm-hmm. What are you? And I'm like, I'm Buddhist. Mm-hmm. And then we mm-hmm. just make great things happen instead of doing tragic things. Tragic. Yeah. Tragic things. Yeah. Like really the Nazis things. that came like over. the Nazis did that came over right. from yeah. Nazi land. It's a little known fact about our history is what makes America great is that there's no freaking Americans here because they suck. <laughs> They're all from Can different I tell places, you luckily. If we were, mm-hmm. if we would just get rid of the Americans oh. in America land, mm-hmm. yes. wouldn't it be great? Mm-hmm. It would. It would be so great. It would. No more U.S. Americans. I'm sick of the U.S. Americans. Yeah, they don't have maps anyway. So <laughs> And such as, like such as. <laughs> Would you please <laughs> define what you're talking about? <laughs> What's Miss South Carolina? Uh, she's great. Of course. She was great. From years her? and years ago. Can you play her? Because she is. There's I nobody. Can. Because there's, can I tell you something? as brilliant as Tony was. <laughs> uh, uh, I think she might be smarter than oh, Tony Bennett. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. Okay, here, here you go. I personally believe that U.S. Americans are <laughs> unable to do so because uh, some... Uh, people out there in our nation mm-hmm. don't have that don't have and uh, i believe See? that our ed- education like such as in south africa south and africa. Uh, the iraq everywhere the iraq. like such as and everywhere like such as i believe that they should uh, <laughs> our education over here over here in the u.s in should the US, help should the u.s help the u.s should help or, south, no, africa. south africa it should help the iraq and the asian and countries the so <laughs> we will be able to build up our future <laughs> That makes more sense than what Tony said. Can I? Can it I honestly ask, does. Let me ask a question, and I'm being serious here. Mm-hmm. Is it painful to be that stupid? Does it hurt? It didn't look oh. like it did. Really? You guys, well, you guys interviewed him. Inter- oh, Tony, Tony Bennett? Yeah. Oh, no, I meant her. Oh, well, I meant her because that <laughs> sounded painful. painful. So that sounded asked. like when the words were coming out, it was like, oh, ow, ow, that one hurt. I, mean, <laughs> I see. I love her. She's fantastic. I actually love her. And she, she, she was awesome. obviously at the time uh, interviewed the following days uh, over and over again. And she sounded much more intelligent than that. She she just well, got caught in that. you couldn't sound worse. No, you couldn't. But I mean, she, that's no, honestly. You could, you could. You could do Tony Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> you could yes. sound like Tony Bennett. <laughs> you could so wait sound. Wait, 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 wait. she came wait. out and she said, so wait, um, I would just like just to that. say that the, the Nazis came over <laughs> and they did something like terrible, tragic things. <laughs> and it was terrible. And then can you believe like 
if <laughs> if we keep doing the guns, then people will come tell us off from other lands. <laughs> you could wait. I mean, honestly, you could wake up from a coma. And you wouldn't know who you are, where you are. You just wake up from a coma, and you would sound better than Tony Bennett did. <laughs> yes. Like, don't worry, don't worry. He'll it, it is. He's just been asleep for thirty years. Don't mm-hmm. worry, he'll be okay. And no one will ask him a question about what he just said. No. no one will say, "Hey, dude, you're trying to come out here and lead this anti-gun movement, and you think the Nazis came over?" I just that part of oh, it my is gosh. is already just insultingly stupid. Uh, and and you know, the rest here's of the, it, here's the problem mm-hmm. with the culture is if you were on our side, Saturday Night Live and everybody oh, would they, be mocking oh, him yeah. mercilessly. I'll bet none of that happens. Yeah. No. You know, you know um, uh, who was it? Uh, oh, it was Edwin Black who was on this week, and he is the he is the world's leading um, scholar on the Nazis and eugenics program. Yeah, who? The na- the Nazis. The Nazis. Yeah. Okay. Um, and he is he so he is. The the leading expert he is. on this, and he's r- remarkable. And I don't remember what I was going to say, but he was great. <laughs> <laughs> so where were, that, about, wait, be, where were we talking about right before? Man, I'm telling you, I'm I'm losing my mind because that's about as good a moment as Miss South Carolina it or really Tony was. Bennett. It was, uh-huh. You have this Gosh, big. What was he saying? <laughs> and some good things. <laughs> maybe, maybe this will remind you. It's the kind of turn that happened to the great country of Germany, where Nazis came over. Nazis. And, Created yes. tragic things. Oh, mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. And they had to be told off. Had to be told off. And if we continue mm-hmm. this kind of violence, this kind of violence? accept it in our country. You accept it in our country? The rest of the world is going to. The rest of the world. Really like, it's going to be like the Iraq. In a very bad way. Very and bad way. Like such as. That we're the greatest country. The greatest. Because we're all different nationalities <laughs> and all different religions. He's so sweet. He's, he's, he's actually crying. Oh, no, no, he's he's how to behave. So I remember. I remember. <laughs> I remember what he said. That's he, a great he statement. was talking about how the Germans and how the Americans and and we do it now. It's happening right now. Mm-hmm. How we recycle people. How these guys are so bad and so they discredit themselves over and over and over again. But it's this little tight little circle that they just keep cleansing each other. And endorsing each other, and you never get out. And so, like Tony Bennett will never be discredited. He'll always be discredited because he's in the circle. I mean, so he'll always have, yeah. he'll always be legendary Tony Bennett who mm-hmm. never did anything wrong. And the doctors who are so wrong, the people like who's our uh, John Holdren, our science, our mm-hmm. science guy, mm-hmm. who said we should put sterilants in drinking water, who said the earth will be over, will be out of oil by 1979, will we won't have any minerals by this time. Remember that whole list. Mm-hmm. That's that's all endorsed by John Holdren in the 1970s. Well, how does he become our science czar now? He was wildly discredited on everything he has ever said. And the deal is, is they're just this just the cycle. All of the guys, they get into the little group, and then one guy at Yale endorses him, and so then the guys at Harvard endorse him, and then everybody, all the friends just draw a little circle, and they're like, ah, don't worry about it. And so nobody does. They just forget it because all of the experts are saying he's fine. That's how Tony Bennett gets away with it, and that's how we're doomed. We we can't, we don't have that. It's Van Jones. We saw it happen. Van Jones, wildly discredited. He is a, he's a communist. He's a full-fledged communist. He was in the White House, horrible human being. And what happens? He's discredited so badly that he's thrown out. And so the universities pick him up, give him a whole bunch of awards. Eventually, CNN, because he's this award-winning guy, he's, he's, he's one of the greatest leading minds in America. CNN hires him, puts him back on television, washes him washes him clean, presents him in a different package now to the uh, um, American people. If you bring it up again, they're like, that's old news. Yeah, I mean, look at the the, mm-hmm. the guy who's best known for accusing all of our troops of genital electrocution is our Secretary of freaking State. He is our Secretary of State. And nobody brings it up. Nobody brings it up. Nobody brings it up. And they were hooking electric cords to people's genitals. genitals and turning up the, the power. power. And they Secretary raised the State. <laughs> shot cattle and dogs for fun. Poison foonstocks. <laughs> what is a foonstock? No one knows. 
I mean, just that we should do a little investigation Should've. on what is a foon stock. Should were we foon stocks? Were we creating hor- uh, terrible things? Well, terrible things, tragic. In the, the fashion of, reminiscent of Genghis did Khan. The, did the rest of the world have to come and tell us off? Mm-hmm. And why did South Vietnam have foon and we don't? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? We about? don't want foon stocks. We don't. No. no. Okay. Have you, you've never had foon stock? I don't think so. Oh no! It, it, no. Babies grow with arms, chests. It's bad. Well, mm. then maybe it was good that we poisoned those foon <laughs> no, stocks. No, because that. <laughs> part of the world you the babies good. need the arms out of their chest because they okay the, it's a it's a it's a farming thing over there and i can't All i right. don't have to, i have to do a commercial so yeah. i don't have time to oh. explain it to you Crap. um here is uh, our response to this i would just like to say that we you know we have piers morgan you know talking smack mm-hmm. about guns but that hasn't been effective but when mm-hmm. you get tony bennett oh my. to come out oh my. And, to, and have a press conference on banning guns, and he makes mm-hmm. really you know, salient points, you can't, I mean, I think we should surrender. Ladies and gentlemen, I leave you today with the words of Tony Bennett, just spoken yesterday, on why we need gun control. It's the kind of turn that happened to the great country of Germany, mm. where Nazis came over Nazis. and came over. created tragic things. Tragic things. I hate that. And they had to be told off. Told off. Yeah, told, told, told off. And if we continue... Remember that? This kind of violence, mm-hmm. can't, can't except that it. in our country, will be told off. The rest well, of the world is going to tell us off. Really take care of us. Take care of us in a very bad way. Oh, in a very bad way. We should learn that we're mm-hmm. the greatest country, right? Because we're all different nationalities yeah. and all different religions, and we should we should behave better. Oh, yeah. The Nazis will this come over here. This is Glenn <laughs> Beck.